You know, I'm glad you tuned in to the prodigal son today. You know, I've been reading the Ephesians prayers before my broadcast every morning, and I'm going to continue to do that because I feel like that you need that. You need to know what I desire for for you in your life, and that is that God would just just be real to you, and He will be real to you through His Word. So let's let's read the Ephesians, the first chapter in the fifteenth verse. This is my desire for everyone that listens to this podcast. It says, "Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love." Unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you, give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling and what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of His power to usward who believe, according to the working of His mighty power, which we wrought in Christ when we raised Him from the dead and set Him at His own right hand in heavenly places." far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet and given him to be the head over all things of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fulfilleth all in all. That is my desire, that God would open the eyes of your understanding and allow you to see exactly what He wants to do in your life, to strengthen you, and to know that He has blessed you and saved you and given you the Word and the guidance in this book that I that I hold so dear to my heart. He has given you that guidance and understanding to know His will for your life. Now the third chapter starting with the the third chapter of Ephesians starting with the 14th verse it says for this cause I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus Christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height, and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Let's see what God's Word has to say about you, about you. He wants to strengthen you and guide you and direct you in every aspect of your life. And these two passages of Scripture that I just read is my desire for you, that He would open the eyes of your understanding and strengthen you, that you might comprehend and understand what He has set in this world, in this world we live in today, to bless you with and to guide you and direct you. Now let's see what else God's Word has to say today. Father, we praise you and we thank you for your guidance, your understanding. Use me for your honor and your glory. Holy Spirit, touch my mind. Lord, touch my mouth. Guide me in the way that you'd have me to go. Help me to understand and to know the direction that you'd have me to go today. Lord, I praise you and I thank you for all you're doing in in my life and the people that listen to this podcast life. Lord, that we might be a light 
to the people that we come in contact with every day of our lives. Now go with me today. Guide me and direct me and use me for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be taking my scripture today from a very familiar scripture. I, I read this a lot. I mean, it is something that that is dear to my heart. And I want you to understand something. That if you'll get this scripture in your life and and allow God to lead you and guide you the way this scripture wants to guide you, that nothing is impossible. Absolutely nothing. It's Proverbs, the fourth chapter, in the 20, starting with the 20th verse. It says, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart out from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them. Now listen to this. And health to all their flesh. You know, uh, if you'll go and and... and translate that word health into into what the Hebrew, what it come from. According to the New Strong's exhaustive accordance of the Bible, the Hebrew word in verse 22 translated health actually means medicine. In other words, this, this scripture actually says they, God's word, are life unto those that find them and medicine to all their flesh. Now, if, if, if you see what I see in this verse and understanding of this verse, that God's word will give you life and not only give you life, but healing, healing to your, fle- <clears throat> to your fleshly body, excuse me, <clears throat> healing that you need God wants to guide you through your life and he wants to use you in this lifetime but I'm going to be honest with you God can't use somebody that's constantly sick and constantly just just downtrodden because of their health conditions and and the things that that come against them in this life That's what God's Word is for. It's not only for guidance, but it's for healing. Isaiah 53, 5, I want to read that. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. And the fourth verse is uh, what Matthew 8, 17 quoted when, when, when he wrote Matthew 8, 17. It's the same thing. So what I want to you I want you to understand is <clears throat> excuse me Isaiah 53 4 and 5 what I want you to understand is that God has given us his word promising promising help that's what it talks about his word will give you life and not only life but it will be health to all your flesh or medicine to heal you, to heal you. And how does it heal you? Isaiah 53, 5 says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Now that's the direct translation into Matthew eight seventeen. But he was wounded for our transgression. Who is he? Jesus was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. That is Jesus. Salvation in a scripture. And with his stripes, we are healed. How does he heal you? By showing you and emphasizing to you what Jesus Christ done on the cross for you. Not only did he die to save you and to be a propitiation for your sins, but he took the stripes that bore your healing. By his stripes, we are healed. And Proverbs 4.21, not only are you life, I'm going to read that again. 
Not only is Proverbs 4.21 talking about giving you life. I'm sorry, it's 4.22. It says, I'm going to read the whole thing again. It says, my, t- my son, attend to my words, incline thine ears unto my sayings. Listen, he's saying, listen to me. Listen to me, take this, and let them not depart out of thine eyes, and keep them in the midst of thine heart. He said, don't ever forget what I am saying to you. For my words, they are life unto those that find them. Life, eternal life, with God himself in his kingdom, and health to all their flesh. In other words, health today in the day that you live in. God wants to heal you through His Word, through the believing of His Word, and the speaking in faith that God's Word will do what it says. Glory to His holy name. Won't you do that? People stand today and are sick when they don't have to be. They are, they are downtrodden and beaten down when they don't have to be. Glory to God. His word is not only, is not only life, but is, it is health to all your flesh. He will guide you. But first and foremost, what he wants to do is see you. He wants to save you that you might be born again. And that's, that's what this podcast is all about. Whether you're, you're lost and you've never been saved or you're backslidden and away from God, I want you to know that God loves you. He loves you. And I keep saying it over and over again, but it's for somebody every time I say it. God loves the abortion doctors as much as he loves the babies, the innocent children they are killing glory to god in the highest that he would love a wretch like me like i was not like i am now because i am washed in the blood of jesus christ born again won't you be born again romans 10 and 9 said if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Glory to his name. And when you are born again, then go on and find life in God's word. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Find healing in God's Word. I want to read one more scripture before I I close this message. And it's Matthew 8, 17. Health to all their flesh. It says that it might be fulfilled which was spoken unto Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself, who is himself? Who is he? Is Jesus took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. If Jesus Christ bore my sickness and your sickness, we don't ever have to bear it again. We don't ever have to bear sickness again because Jesus took all the stripes for our healing on the cross at Calvary. Glory to his holy name. God wants to not only to save you today, but heal you today and give you life, life, abundant life. Allow him to be that what he wants to be today in your life, and that is your Savior, your healer, and your friend to love you and strengthen you and guide you in every aspect of life. Won't you be born again today? Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and watch Him change your life forever. Glory to His holy name. If God's doing something in your life, go to our website and let us know what He is doing 
through through his word and through this podcast that 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 is just miraculous. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. Has he saved you? Have have you been born again by reading his word and allowing him to do what he wants to do in your life? Or has he healed you? What is it that God is doing? You know, I, I read the Ephesians prayers. This, the, I'm, I've, I've been reading the Ephesian prayers in the front of every podcast. And that's for, for a good reason, to let you know that I am praying for you, that the understanding, that the eyes of your understanding would be open to not what Stacy wants, not what Stacy says, but uh, they are open to God's word, to his word to his guidance and his understanding. Won't you allow him to do that? Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com and let us know what God is doing in your life today.